Cinema Classics is brought to you by the Gateway Film Center at 1550 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Further details in showtimes online at gatewayfilmcenter.org. The award-winning Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. This, this is, is Cinema Classics. It is. And we are talking about, I guess, who... Might Maybe be. the premier actress of our time. Right. And I'm not talking about Meryl Streep. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> and I'm about ready to <laughs> say something what you might think is crazy. Okay. So we're talking about Kate Blanchett. Right. Currently starring in and nominated for her performance in Todd Haynes' Carol. Yes. And she was in Truth earlier this year. And Truth. Yeah. But that's she's not she's nominated. She's not nominated for that, yeah. For her performance in Carol, um, I am. Uh oh, I'm, I'm. I don't know. This is I coming. I am curiously unmoved and unfazed <sighs> by Kate Blanchett. I can tell right away you don't think she has the range of Meryl Streep. I, do I you? Don't. Because I don't. I, I don't even know if it's range. I just think she just washes out for me on screen. Like okay, I don't. I, and here's the thing is, technically, she's she's a really fine actress. I mean, I'm not an idiot. I can look at her. I yeah. can watch a performance by yep. Kate Blanchett. I'm impressed with her, you know, her nuance, her emotional sort of uh, uh, reality. I don't know. She's a very intense actress. Also very beautiful, classically beautiful. Also very elegant. She can be... You know, and then she's had her things. best there. Although in Blue Jasmine, I think of all all of that came together. Woody mm -hmm. Allen's movie, and I just she won the Oscar. Right, I, I know. <laughs> You're and I, I, I can don't tell like it. She, I, I don't know what it is about her, but there's when she is not memorable. Okay. I guess maybe that's what it is. Okay. Looking back at her filmography here, like there's some movies in this filmography I don't even remember her being in them. <laughs> Well, it's terrible. I feel terrible about it. All right, here's where I don't remember her. Okay. She won the Oscar, her second Oscar, mm -hmm. which is the first that's one. That's crazy to me. The first one, first one, two Oscars. as a supporting actress, as Kate Hepburn in Aviator. Oh my God, she won for that. Yes. And See, that, that, there you go. And I'm with you on that one. Unimpressive. Yeah, uh, it's just an imitation, vague imitation, you know. Yeah, and and then. It, I think most people remember her from uh, in 2001 Elizabeth. Yeah, that's what put her on the map. Yeah, right? I think so. I remember that movie, but again, not much about it and and I don't know that I was so overwhelmed or struck by right, her. Right, 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 right. Uh in and, and but a lot of people remember her. So you're agreeing. Are you agreeing with me? I I'm trying not to. But you're making me move that way. But I started myself out and in talking about Meryl Streep. And thinking to myself, I'm a, we're about to introduce an actress who is yeah, close well, I'll tell you to what, the when you talent talk about Meryl Street, Street, who is incredibly um, productive, but also when you, you think back just conversationally on her filmography and her output, you right. can rattle off great Meryl Streep performances, <laughs> right? The, the titles spring instantly to mind, right? But, Silkwood. Uh, Sophie's Choice. <laughs> That's uh, a good one, yeah. Kramer versus Kramer. Yeah. That's just the, the deer hunter. Those are just the seventies, <laughs> early eighties. Yeah. And and so when you make that when you make Meryl Streep your litmus test, uh, it does diminish some of the glory of Kate Blanchett. Maybe it's the movies that are failing her. Maybe she just hasn't been in, in a movie that is across the board, firing on all cylinders, great. I thought she approached it in truth like, earlier this year. I did the not Dan, see it. the Dan Rather debacle. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thought it, you say debacle, I say debacle. Okay, and but in either case, I think we know what we're talking about. That that you say Kate Blanchett, I say Kate. Blanchett. She prefers Blanchett. Does she? Yes, I per, I almost always say Blanchett, mm. and I'm trying now to be a good boy and say Blanchett. Yeah, well, and that, I don't think you're you've got a lot of company. I don't want to make a debacle out of No, 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 no. But anyway, in truth, and earlier this year, she, she was a played a fiery, passionate producer. Who got herself into trouble? Who, who was an award-winning producer? Mm -hmm. Who you know made a mistake in her journalistic approach? Yeah. And I really thought that that was good. Now this Carol, is opposite Robert Redford. Yeah. 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 I, I also missed this movie. How was that? How was that off? 
how was Redford in that movie? Redford was not Dan Rather, but he didn't try to channel him. Right. He he seemed okay. There wasn't a big role for Redford. Oh, well, he it? merely okay. had to make sure that he he put the uh, the booze glass up high enough so <laughs> that we knew that Rather. I'm just wondering what a, a star of that caliber, an actor of that yeah. sort of magnetism, brings out in an actress like. Well, and if you ask it that way, I think he did well, and I can't tell you exactly why, mm -hmm. but he served as a kind of father figure to her. Yeah. And uh, after she had missed her cue on that uh, segment of 60 Minutes and where they got savaged because of their mistakes, yeah. she, she came to him and said, why didn't you, in, in other words, why didn't you ask me about my source? Right. And he said, I didn't need to, because he had total confidence mm. in her and she blew it but he had that kind of calm anyway i think he does bring it out in her but you don't need anybody to bring it out in meryl streep you no. don't even ask me oh, right you know, who brought that out meryl streep is the one that brings stuff out of other <laughs> exactly people. so so yeah so we're looking at an actress classy smart can be nuanced but has a certain limited range i think even in blue jasmine she's still an a, a, an upper class yeah lady well, what about all this um, Hobbit business? Well, there's the Hobbit stuff. Lord of the Rings, that's just a paycheck. She's just making a paycheck. She says she always wanted to be a, a, play a character with pointy ears. Fabulous. Right. And I, she has not put listing that in her filmography mm. as her great achievement. I'd like to see her play Spock in the, <laughs> in the next Star yeah. Trek film. Yeah. No, Let's but I think... Test her range out. No, I think your points are right. She certainly... I mean, one year she made $13 million. I mean, she's certainly doing... Yeah. Well, I see that's enough. great. Like she is a, you know, an actress. She's not a bankable actress. I mean, you don't go see a movie because no. audiences don't go flock to the theaters because Kate Blanchett is in a film. No, they certainly didn't with Monuments, man. No, they did. There's a lot of her movies on, yeah. on this uh, list <laughs> yeah, I know. for you that that aren't really <laughs> yeah. um, well known. I, it's just interesting to me that somebody so successful and who has been now working for 20 years yeah, yeah for at sure. least yeah uh it's great i mean it's great when we have actresses who have found long-term careers in hollywood because that is a rarity you know it's always been a rarity but even more so today uh no actor or movie star has uh the longevity of of you know past the, the past uh masters like Streep, Nicholson, yeah. Redford. Yeah, right. They're few and far between. So it's really um, deserves mention that she, you know, has been so uh, fruitful for so long. Yeah, and 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 she's in. Uh, uh, for instance, she was in the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Yeah, see, that's. Okay. Yeah, but there was yeah. nothing. Right, there was nothing to call upon her for. For Brad Pitt, it comes re immediately to mind. Mm -hmm. For her. That didn't bring out, Pitt didn't bring out in her, she didn't bring anything out in Pitt, but that's the kind of role that she gets and she fades into. Mm -hmm. So we're having a little bit of difficulty finding the outstanding roles for Kate Blanchett, yeah. maybe because she's not a top tier actress. I don't, that's... Oh. Why are we having her on this show? I don't know. <laughs> well, she's not on the show. <laughs>